Greetings fellow humans, Bad Bark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a couple of keyboards from a relatively new brand or at least a new brand to me, um, Risophy, R-I-S-O-P-H-Y. Um, uh, a little while ago I got an email and it was a representative from the company and they said they had been watching my videos and they were wondering if I would be interested in taking a look at two of their new mechanical keyboards they were releasing and they included some photos in there and I was like yeah sure I'm always interested in taking a look at a keyboard and I have to admit I don't think I've given a fair share to full-size keyboards um, I think I've only done two ever so I know that I don't use full-size keyboards, but in effect, I use full-size and sometimes even more than that because I, I like using some 1800s and still using a macro pad. Why? Well, I, I got the space, I guess. Um, and I also like using my mouse between the macro pad and the keyboard as well, uh, depending. But, so, today we're going to be taking a look at their full-size keyboard. Like I said, I, I saw the keyboards. It looks like it has a volume roller at the top right and you know RGB. I have little knowledge of this keyboard going in. I tried to just keep from reading up about it to see if I can be surprised or at least you know find out about it along with you guys. So first things first let's go ahead and open it up and see what's in the box. All right so opening up the box we see that we have a full-size keyboard and we we do have it already corded. Um, with a good amount of um, tension protection uh, with those big plastic bridges. But let's go ahead and take this and set it aside for a second and see what, what else is in here. Looks like we have a plastic keycap pour and some spare red switches. We also have the horseshoe switch pour. All right, so these are Otomu, Otomu Red. And we've got some spare switches, six spare switches, which is nice, especially considering that this is a full size. We also have a wrist rest. Well, it looks like it does attach directly to the keyboard, which is always nice. So if you move the keyboard, this comes along with it. So with the keyboard, we also have the mechanical mechanical gaming keyboard user manual. So it's definitely directed towards a gamer. All right, and it tells you how to record the macros onto the G key right on the keyboard. Now let's look at this keyboard. Wow, this is a, uh, <clears throat> this keyboard feels very substantial. So it is corded, but I mean, I do believe some people actually prefer it this way so they don't have to find a cable for it, but um, I prefer to be able to replace the cable. Now that does have a sturdy, um, are called boots I'm not sure exactly but these ridges and everything basically help prevent that the cable the little the four little wires inside um, will most likely not break from constant movement up and down that said I prefer to have um, it with a port so that I can replace the cable when I want to um, and it also makes it easier when I'm storing the keyboard instead of when it's attached having to find a spot for it but that's just my my personal preference uh, i do know everyone has their own preference now it feels like we have a um a metal bar barrel encoder for the volume here does not have a down click but then we have specific soft buttons for media control looks like we can use this for you can change between mute or volume control and brightness up and down and then for play pause and also for skipping and uh, skipping tracks and going backwards a track um, we have light controls with sub legends on the keys here but we have a decent full-size keyboard these are some pretty and they ping there's some pretty big uh, G keys or macro keys Yep, we're dealing with the Otomu style or Milmax 
hot swap socket, so there's going to be a, a limitation as to what switches you can use in there, including Gatorons are not going to be able to be used in here. Um, novel key creams, they will not fit in there there because the legs on them, the left leg right here is wider than what it is there. Now you can modify the switch to go in there. But that's not something I'd recommend having to go through a whole pack of switches. Uh, so, but at least you can take out the stock switches. Or uh, if you do want to replace them, there are the Akos that are wing latch, meaning they have this one flat piece on either side instead of the four legs. Um, those are manufactured by, I believe, KTT and do fit into these. But if they have four legs they're not gonna, they're not gonna work i believe those are the ones manufactured by gator but don't quote me that's just things that i've read online um so i don't have uh, well here's a kizzy switch but this is a five pin that's another one that's this is a three pin the center post and the two actual metal pins that make contact inside with the leaf spring so um now, don't get me wrong, I actually, <laughs> I have lubed some Red Dragon Red, or Red, um, Otomu Red Dragon Zixian Reds, and they've actually been pretty, pretty decent once they're lubed up. Not that I'm saying you should lube them up. You have your choice to replace them, or just lube the ones you got. Now, just to be sure here, so yeah, that's where the ping is, and you can... Because it's steel plate and the switches are bone dry, there's, they're, they're going to be vibrating, creating a reverberation that's going to go across the plate. What I, from what I hear, gamers prefer to have clicky switches, but pingy. I don't know. I think it's it's fairly um, nowadays, especially because. Um, I, I know of plenty of decent switches that already come pre-lubricated, or at least they have minimal ping, if any. And, you know, and even buying a pack of 100 is pretty good. I can imagine buying a bolt would be even cheaper. But it's just, uh, I don't know, I, that's something that I would prefer to see. All right, so we got it plugged in. It looks like it has a lot of really nice lights. It's got lights on the side profile. All right, I just realized I haven't said the name of this keyboard. The company is RizzoFi, which I know I mentioned that, but it's just Wired Mechanical Gaming Keyboard, Hot Swap Red Switches, Chroma RGB Lightning. So, I usually can say, okay, this is the model of the keyboard, but I can't even see that in this situation. That's um interesting. So it only has one set of flip-up feet. Now, let's take a look at these stabilizers. All right, we got some pretty loose plate mounted stabilizers. They're all over the place. This would definitely require a good tape mod, band-aid mod to uh, get those on there a little tighter and uh they also appear to be bone dry so i'm gonna guess there's probably i forgot to put a resistor or a capacitor because the lights are flickering when i'm going all the way down i like that it has a lit up badge i don't like the height of those buttons and they just don't feel I don't know like because perhaps it's because I was a I, I was a kid in the 70s a little kid and I remember getting in the car and seeing the radios that had these big buttons and when you press them they went all the way in you could pull them back out too and it kind of feels like that's what these should be but I mean they hardly have any travel at all these are okay over here the barrel encoder is fine but um and actually i i like the side lights it really does give it a 
I don't know, a cool gamery effect. I like it. I actually like the, uh, how they have it a couple of exposed uh, screws there. It's pretty cool. It's also pretty cool how you do the, uh, the rust rust. It goes on there fairly easy. Just pop it on and you're good to go and it's going to stay with the keyboard. But I couldn't use this as is. It's going to require some modding, but you know what? I think I'm, I'm going to do it. I mean, not today, uh, but I think I, I will see how good I can get this keyboard to sound because I did it with a Red Dragon uh, K551, I believe, uh, the full size, and I got it to sound pretty good. So I got to say, I do like a good challenge. Just the specs. Today, we are taking a look at the Risify. Pro full-size mechanical gaming keyboard. It is a corded 116 key keyboard including the soft keys. It comes preloaded with Otemu Red and are hot swappable but they only have Milmax hot swap sockets so they're going to be limited as to what switches will fit. It comes weighing in at 1280 grams and claims to have a lifetime after sales guarantee. The chin of this keyboard sits at 16 and a half millimeters off the typing surface, while the back sits at 27 millimeters, providing a default typing angle of six degrees. Using the one pair of included feet will raise the back up to 38 millimeters, changing your default typing angle to 11 degrees. The MSRP for this keyboard is $69.99. All right, so today we took a look at the Rizofi Pro. I think that's what it is named i'm not quite sure when i loaded up the software it says i9 on i119 um though it says it has 116 keys i took a look at the software real quick uh, there's no layers there's just profiles and you can remap everything except the function key but you cannot program the soft keys in the software um based on how the market is right now this being 70 dollars is it's priced way too high um it's corded it uh does not allow for function layers it does not allow you to program the soft keys um it has only hot swap compatibility with switches that'll work with Milmax style hot swap sockets or usually the cheaper switches um, it comes with a steel plate uh, the, the loaded, the preloaded um, switches are stock, so they ping. The entire thing is like a bell. It's um, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to come up with something positive to say about it. I mean, I kind of like the design, but none of that diminishes or takes away from the fact that I mean this keyboard it's not worth $69.99 now granted it is listed with a $20 coupon but that's still $49.99 or $50 bucks. Um, I can get a full size Red Dragon K552 with 5 pin hot swap compatibility uh, I think for $34 or $39.99 um, and I, there's a Red Dragon that actually has a roller just like this one it's built differently but that one i believe is uh 49.99 and actually comes with decent enough switches it sounds pretty good out of the box this one i don't know i do have another keyboard they did send me two and the other one is supposed to be their new even though it's not a full size i think it's a 75 percent but that's their new keyboard and this one on amazon is listed as their previous keyboard so um Maybe I'm to look at the differences between that one and this one, but I I can't find much to justify the price and the lack of features that this keyboard has. Um, the link to getting it is lost in the description of the Amazon listing, and it takes you to another site. And I mean, no, no, I saw nowhere about where I'm supposed to if I have 
if I have a need for after sales support where I'm supposed to contact them. So I, I, I don't know who this keyboard is for. I really don't. I mean, this is just, um, like I said, the, just tapping on it makes it ring. So I don't know. I can only be honest on this keyboard. I don't see, I don't see a value proposition. And I just don't see it being worthwhile unless one were to put in a lot of time uh, for mods. And even then, you're kind of stuck at what switches you can use. And I mean, this needs to be ported. The, the switches should come lubed. Uh, there should be 3 and 5 pin hot swap compatibility nowadays that you just can't. You can't sell Memlax hot swap and, you know, call it hot swap. I'm sorry. It's just, it maybe a couple of years ago, but not anymore. So I truly, I truly find it difficult to recommend this keyboard to anybody. I just, just being honest. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test. I may come back to this keyboard at some point, but I have so many other ones I'd rather mod than this one. Um, I just, I don't see, I don't see a purpose for this one. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just a $70 keyboard that's corded and that doesn't even have lube switches and only will accept, you know, Milmax compatible switches. It's, I don't know. I'm hoping that the, the second keyboard I'll be taking a look at from them is going to be better, but... I'm not gonna put my hopes up. Um, I appreciate them sending this to me. Uh, maybe they wanted me to. <laughs> There's been times that I've been sent keyboards that they they want me to be honest. They want a third party to go, hey, this is good about this keyboard. This is what's bad about this keyboard. I don't know, but this I can't I can't recommend to anyone, even a, a gamer, because I just don't see. I mean, there's, there's plenty of other gaming keyboards, uh, and I can, Red Dragon, I can think of quite a few that just beat the pants off of this, and actually comes dampened, comes with better switches, um, better plate, better features. This is just... I don't know who this was made for. I mean, if this was 2019, I'd say, hey, okay, you know, you got a modder and stuff, but, you know, it's, it's, it's all right, but... It's 2023, almost 2024. This keyboard just has no place in the market, in my honest opinion. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Let's start a conversation. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.